And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, and with me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League. The group stage and match day one. My goodness, so much to look forward to. It is Club Rouge against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, cheers, Derek. These home fans are going to enjoy this. They surely must. With the team coming as big as this to your club, make sure you don't let yourselves down. Don't let those fans down. Don't let your families down. Really, really give it everything you've got. PSG manager to suffer disappointment in Europe. It's been a recurring theme, Lee. Well, absolutely, and failure is the key word because big money investment, in fact, huge money investment. PSG are not judged on how they do in the French league. They dominate in that, six out of the last seven. It's how they do in Europe, and they haven't done well enough. And this is how the hosts will begin the game today. We're thinking 4-3-3. Yeah, one central striker, Derek. The width comes from the wingers who will stay high and wide. Very narrow midfield and a conventional back four. And the PSG team looks like this. Kaylon Navas gets the nod in goal. Thiago Silva plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. Marco Verratti starts alongside Idrissa Gay in central midfield. And the main striker today is Edinson Cavani, the Uruguayan. Well, pressing high is something the visitors like to do. It can take a lot out of any team, but it is very much their game. Lee, would you expect that approach this time? Yeah, absolutely. The press looks on the way the team's set up. High energy is needed for this tactic. Everyone has to buy into it, but the rewards are big, Derek. Not all that hard to deal with crosses like that. Now that. Here's Mbappe. Very attractive looking move, easy on the eye, but nothing there. Sarabia, surely, in it goes, an early goal, no wonder they're celebrating. Well, let's look at this again. We've all hit these in training. First time, bang in the back of the net. Look at the calmness of it. Technique, brilliant. A chance to revisit the goal. And back in business, advantage, PSG. It's Federico Rica. No foul, PSG advantage. Pablo Sarabia. Well, high marks for that pass. So close to keeping himself onside, but offside is the verdict. Well, and that's his job, the linesman. Give those tight offside decisions and get them right. Arika in possession. Pablo Sarabia. 
But I can remember watching PSG when they didn't have the attached glamour that is part of the story now. It's almost intriguing watching them in the Champions League these days, Lee. Well, it is when they're in a position to go out, really, and buy any player they want. That does not give you an advantage, especially when it comes to winning your own league, but also in the Champions League as well. I must say, no shortage of space. Competent goalkeeping. Yeah, right place at the right time, foils the attacker. The ball with Van Aken. And that's easy peasy for the keeper. Clinton Mata. They've regained possession. An abundance of space. Mbappe with it. And Verassi getting forward. And can he deliver accurately? He takes aim. Corner awarded to PSG. But he's gone short with it. Back from the byline. And the keeper taking care of the situation. Okereke. Verassi. Cavani. Di Maria. Verassi. Well, no accuracy at all in terms of the shot unleashed. Well, it's the care and attention, all that work to get in the position and then way, way wide. Here's Mechele. Mata. Clattered away. Clinton Mata. And just couldn't keep the ball. Gay. Well, the pass not finding its target. But he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Now Minier. Di Maria. Gay. Top-notch tackle. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. And on the ball, Sarabia. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Cavani. Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. just off target well I wasn't expecting that I'm pretty sure the goalkeeper wasn't as well it was close former and he's made headway well it's one thing to win the ball and he takes on the shot. And the keeper would have been disappointed had he not dealt with it. They are a goal down, but perhaps a chance to create something from this corner. Played into the centre of the box. The end product just wasn't there. that Mbappe with it Verratti now here's Mbappe Verratti just looking for the right moment for that final pass and there it is the half-time whistle
just always asking questions of the opposition in the first half. Edinson Cavani. Well, Derek, it certainly was a good 45 minutes from the lad. Obviously got the goal to give him the lead, but he's looked very, very lively as well. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. They've given it away. Crossing opportunity. It's still alive. It might be perfectly set up for the counter attack, you know. And it's a quality pass. Mbappe, it looked as though he might have been onside, but he was just a fraction off. Oh, I'm not so sure. I'd like to see that again. Clinton Mata. They've regained possession. Here's Mbappe, Edinson Cavani now. Mbappe. Oh, they have the ball once more. Vanaken now, Clinton Mata. Rud Former. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Pass under no real pressure. Dangerous looking attack. Can't miss, surely. It wasn't far away from the target, Lee. No, it was decent. Really, really decent chance for the lad. They'll keep pushing away to try and get that equaliser. PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front. Juan Bernat under Herrera under Herrera with that lovely pass Mbappe giving them a different option by moving in field well they're doing a fine job of applying pressure here not giving their opponents time to think or get out of their own half Meunier Keeper did his job to begin with speculative effort here well, the angle was never his friend. Well, he should pick out a teammate. He shouldn't be shooting from there. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. Mbappe! It is to be a throw-in. Gay, an incisive pass, he's managed to get in behind, and in the back of the net for PSG, the lead extended to two now. Well, here it is, how do you like him? In an open goal, please, no goalkeeper, no defenders. Where were they all? So, 2-0 now. Well, as we can see from the stats, PSG enjoying the bulk of possession here. It's important to have strong, dominant players in your midfield, and they've got that. Just look at what that control gives you. Emmanuel Dennis, excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. 
And the cross fired over, but no real central pressure applied. Under Herrera. Glorious pass from Ander Herrera. Well, he made that interception look routine. In truth, it wasn't. Opportunity it is. Won it back. Nowhere to go, really. He's being closed down. Cavani. And green space galore for PSG. He made it look simple, really. Diata. Ten minutes left for play in this match. Possession changes hands. The interception there. Now this might pay dividends. And it's a double for him in this game. No way for the opposition to contain him. And no wonder he's off celebrating. Top marks, finishing at his best. Lovely through ball as well. The timing was perfect. Excellent finish. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Substitution it is for PSG. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Ritz, former. Poor pass under no real pressure. Inside the final five minutes now. Kurzawa. Under Herrera. Mbappe with it. Now Kurzawa. That's a lovely ball. It needs an accurate cross. Mbappe. Substitution time it is. by Mbappe, he'll be disappointed and the referee is going to add on three minutes an important interception and on the ball Zarabia and now Gay Cavani and Herrera He's going forward well here, and that brings the action to its conclusion. You've got to say, Lee, a horrible night at the office. It's not a disaster as Sonic Game 1. We can't afford any more slip-ups. That result will eat away at the players until Game 2 comes along. And the focus of attention following this game, Edinson Cavani, the Uruguayan. Well, clearly the difference between the two sides today. Two goals, a really good performance, ran into the channel, did everything right. Absolutely, 9 out of 10.